Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today we are diving into the rich flavors of India with the mouth-watering chicken labadar recipe. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds as we explore the aromatic spices and creamy texture that makes this dish a true culinary delight. This dish is a symphony of flavors that will leave you craving for more. So grab your aprons and let's dive into the magic of Indian cuisine. I'm going to show you step by step how to make it. So now let's begin. So first take 1 kg chicken, cut and clean, add some salt to taste, add half teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste and give this a nice mix and marinate this for about an hour. Then take 3 tomatoes cut 1 by 4 then add it to the blender then add about 3 tablespoon of water and blend it to a smooth puree something like this then leave this aside in a separate bowl then take 1 third cup cashew nuts and add it to the blender and add about 2 tablespoon water and blend this to a smooth paste then leave this aside in a separate bowl to use it later then in a hot pan add oil add 1 black cardamom add 1 inch cinnamon stick 3 green cardamom half maize spice then fry this for about a minute then add 3 onion chopped and fry it until the onion is nice and light brown something like this then add 2 tablespoon ginger garlic paste and fry this for about a minute then add 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder half tablespoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, one tablespoon coriander powder, half tablespoon cumin powder, add one third cup water and fry this until the masalas are nicely cooked. Make sure the flame is not too high. Then add the tomato puree which was previously made, add half cup water, add one teaspoon sugar, then give this a nice mix then add some salt to taste add 2 green chilies chopped and give this a mix then cover it and allow it to boil So everything is nicely cooked now, then allow it to cool down completely. So once the masala is cooled down completely, then simply blend the masala to a smooth paste. Something like this, make sure it's nice and smooth. Then in a hot pan add oil. Add the marinated chicken and fry this for about 2 minutes on a high flame. Then cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. Then give this a mix. Then add the masala paste and add 2 cups water mix it and check if it needs more water to make it nice and curry consistency then I'm gonna add one more cup water to make it nice and curry consistency and give this a nice mix then cover it and allow it to boil Then add half teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, half tablespoon garam masala, 
add the caju paste which was previously made. Then add 2 tablespoon butter. Add 1 tablespoon kasuri methi and handful of chopped coriander leaves. Add 1 stock cube and add some salt to taste. Give this a nice mix. Then cover it and cook it for about another 10 minutes. So as you can see the curry is perfectly cooked. And then give this a final mix. So the chicken lababdar recipe is ready to serve now. Whether it's a cozy dinner at home or a special gathering with your loved ones, this dish is sure to impress. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this recipe with fellow food enthusiasts. Also do comment and let me know any of your suggestions and if you tried this recipe then do comment and let me know how you liked it. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.